this video tutorial i will explain how to call the stored procedure which returns uh, all the records from the table using uh, simple jdbc call here you can see the employee table it has uh, three records here i am creating a stored procedure stored procedure name is read underscore all underscore employee when you call this uh, stored procedure it returns uh, all the records from the employee table I am going to create this uh, store procedure. Here you can see the store procedure is created. Here you can see set data source method. Spring container creates a data source object and call this method. And that data source object is set to simple JDBC call object. Simple JDBC call object is going to use this stored procedure. Read underscore all underscore employee stored procedure. Then I am calling a returning result set method of a simple JDBC call object and passing parameter as employees and the row mapper. Here you can see get employee list method. Here I am calling a execute method of a simple JDBC call object and this method call this uh, store procedure and uh, returns the map. Map key is uh, employees and the value is uh, list of employee objects. And uh, from the map, I am getting the list of employee objects and uh, returning the list of uh, employee objects. Here I have defined the class employee. It has four properties employee ID, name, age, and salary. Here I have defined the interface employee DAO. It has one abstract method. Method is get employee list. Here I have defined the class employee DAO impl which implements uh, employee DAO interface and provide implementation of uh, get employee list method. This is a Spring configuration XML. Spring container read this uh, XML and it creates a data source object. To create data source object, Spring container needs to know driver class name, URL of the database, username and password of the database. Once a data source object is created, it is injected to employee DAO impl. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of application context object getting employee DAO object from a spring container. Then I am calling get employee list method of employee DAO object. This method returns employee list that I am printing here. Here you can see the output. We got uh, all the records from the employee table. You can get Java source code link for each video in the description section of the video.
here you can see the description section click on uh, show more and uh, here you can see the java source code links click on uh, these links to get the java source code 